friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And basically I just wanted to pop in really quick to do an intro because I always forget to film intros for these videos. So here I am. Um, while I'm here, I figured I'd also real quick do a rundown of today's outfit. I'm just going to work later. Um, so I had a really chill morning in, just editing, working on things, Cage is feeling under the weather, so that sucks. Uh, but basically in these videos, I just do a bunch of compiled vlogs of like over time of like spooky season and things that I do. I have a bunch from last year. I hopefully have a bunch more coming to you. So feel free to watch along and enjoy if that's what you're interested in. Um, but for the outfit today, got a little mushroom hair clip from the dollar store. Got this little set of bones that I made into a hair clip that was also just bones from the dollar store. My makeup today, I was very inspired by like the changing autumn leaves outside. So I did like a gradient from like yellow, orange, red, and then below it's like green and brown. I don't know how visible it is or if it's like actually reading at all, but that was the goal. I ended up using this palette that I think I got like a year or two ago. And all the colors are so glorious and fallish, and I never think to like use them all together, but today was the day that I was like, let's use this yellow, this orange, this red, a little bit of the, like all the, it was good. It was a, it was a really good time. So. The earrings, these are little possum bones that I traded for on Tumblr when I was like a teenager. For jewelry, otherwise, we've got this key necklace that's just like a ribbon, a random chain I found, and a key that I found that I added together. This sort of like agate, Amber, I don't know, one of the two uh, that my grandma gave me. Then I've got like a little fairy cameo necklace and a little star pendant. I'm also wearing the amazing fall cardigan. This thing is seriously glorious. I found it at the thrift store ages ago. And I've been trying to remember to let you guys know what like perfumes I'm wearing because I've been experimenting again all with like different scents and just like pulling out my box every morning and being like, what am I feeling today? Um, so this morning I did a combination of Thunderstorm and Bonfire by Demeter. These are two of the first perfumes I think I got from them like last year when I first discovered the brand. And it was one of the first combinations that I found that I really liked because it really just reminds me of like being inside with like a roaring fire the thunderstorm just crackling outside and you have the window open but like the fire's coming and like you can smell the rain and like everything's just like so magical and spooky in fall time um so yeah that's the look for today um hopefully work goes well and now i'll let you get to the vlog that you came here for so um let's get going hi friends okay so it is august 29th today which according to the spooky calendar means it's sunflower maze day so cage and i we wanted to like go as early as possible but the maze doesn't open till 11. So it's actually 11 right now because we woke up really late. I don't know why I looked at my watch and my, my wrist, I'm not wearing a watch. The maze doesn't open till 11 and it's like 11 right now. It's about an hour drive. So we should probably like be heading over there soon. Um, I'm kind of worried since school hasn't started up yet that the kids are still gonna be like out there and running around and might be super busy. It's also gonna be 30 degrees today. So I'm like, ah, and I had to like very much dress up for that weather. So I was kind of hoping to wear like something spookier, but honestly, I think this works. I was originally intending to add like spooky season patches to this dress and then eventually if I get sick of it I can always take them off but I haven't done that yet and I'm still not sure if I want to do it because I ended up making that other kind of patch spooky dress to do that instead too but um yeah let's go over the outfit of today really quick so desperately need to wash my hair but I'm wearing some skeleton hand hair clips and also this little orange mushroom hair clip that I got at the dollar store I got my Spooky bone earrings. I wanted to do purple eyeshadow and I totally forgot until I was like halfway done. So it's like mostly black with just like a touch of purple. <laughs> and I wanted to wear lipstick, but it's like 30 degrees. I'm gonna be drinking water all day and I don't wanna be like stressing about my lipstick at a farm. So it's fine. This is my Halloween choker. Time to break it out for the season. I feel like I don't really wear it except for in this spooky season. So it's very exciting that it's, it's time again. Then I'm wearing my new kind of Halloween themed rosary that I made myself. For bracelets, I'm wearing this amazing glow in the dark piece that I got at the thrift store. I love it and it's like super fun vintage Halloween. And then on this arm, the beaded bracelets are handmade by me. One says trick or treat and the other one says hocus pocus and one has a jack-o'-lantern charm and one just has a pumpkin charm. And um, I'm also wearing just a studded bracelet from the thrift store. This dress I got when I was a teenager. My mom actually bought it for me. I think I was maybe like 18 in Montreal 
or something um, when we were like on this little road trip and it was just like this amazing beautiful like patch dress with like all these really interesting like bleach stains and stuff it's like an overall dress so it has a big pocket in here it has pockets on the sides it's got nice big open sides and normally I would just wear this with like a mesh shirt but because of how hot it is I'm just wearing like a sports bra and it is what it is the world will have to deal with it and then for footwear comfort is absolutely the name of the game today so I've just got my Doc Martens um, it would be amazing to wear like big fun platformy goth boots to the sunflower farm uh, but unfortunately I don't want to be like tripping all over myself so that is what's gonna happen today and I think it'll be just like a super fun cute time um, so i'll obviously bring you guys down there with me so let's go on over i'm super excited so the first stop on this vlog is going to be at this amazing sunflower farm and they had so much going on like of course the sunflower maze and like a you pick garden and all sorts of other different mazes of different um plants and stuff but also a little petting zoo sort of situation with the usual goats and geese i remember last year there was this goat named amelia and one named apple pie and we got to see them again doing very very well there was all sorts of interesting structures that they cut shapes out of so that you could like look out the windows through them and like kind of see all the ponies and, <laughs> and everything that was going on out there um i grew up on a farm like a vegetarian one so we didn't have like cows or anything like that so it was very cool to kind of go back in this sort of situation and goats are always so cute and fun and these two were just really really sweet just such gentle animals one of my favorite things that this place has to offer is this willow tree maze willow trees are one of my absolute favorite kind of trees and this one has just been growing i think for seven or eight years now so it's not as tall as it will be i'm sure in like many many years but already it feels like just like this enchanted magical lush forest jungle type thing I love going in there and just feeling like a kid again getting lost and playing pretend and feeling like a fairy it's just the most delightful fun I remember last year when we went um, it was ridiculously rainy and overcast and foggy which I loved and was absolutely fantastic but it was really special to be able to visit this place in the sunshine the sunflowers as always were magnificent we had gone pretty early in the season so a lot of the crops hadn't started blooming yet but the ones that were there were already so tall and so glorious getting lost in a sunflower maze is one of the absolute best things about the autumn and being there with cage with like the wind rustling and like hardly anyone there it was absolutely perfect i was really worried that it would be overcrowded with like school having not quite started up yet and it being so nice but it really felt like we were the only ones there again and the soft breeze with like the sunflowers and the sun shining down was absolutely magnificent at one point we found this amazing little set of chairs to sit down at and we just spent like probably 15 or 20 minutes there like in silence looking out at the breeze and just enjoying all of the sunshine and and last days of summer it was incredibly special after we had had a good solid rest it was time to continue venturing out and exploring the fields more and there's just something so special about seeing all the bees buzzing into the flowers all the flowers in their different stages of bloom from the ones that are like just barely starting to to come up to the ones that have like prematurely died and the fields that like aren't quite bloomed yet like they're all green except for like one one or two sunflowers like just starting to poke out it's incredibly special being there in the sunshine I definitely got a bit of a horrible tan when I came home um, but the breeze and seeing everything so beautiful definitely made up for it there's also something incredibly spooky about like monoculture fields in my opinion like whether it's corn mazes or sunflower mazes or like anything that it's like just one type of plant it feels definitely like being in an alien landscape and something like not quite right about it which definitely adds to the spooky vibe for me and they had like cute little photo op spots with like trucks and bikes and all the sunflowers facing one direction is incredibly fantastic and magical and spooky and yeah just really really cool to see this is one of cage and i's new like favorite things to do every fall is going to the sunflower maze this one's also super special because it has a you pick for flowers so this is me picking the first sunflower of the season had to get it on tape recorded of course <laughs> very happy and then cage of course is always delighted to come to this place because he can collect all sorts of different specimens for his dried bug art that he makes it just felt so serene being out there with like all the plants like swaying gently in the breeze and like a little bit of the smells that you could like lean in and like smell from the different flowers everything felt so fresh and seeing the 
summer just to, like say its last goodbyes was something incredibly special that I usually don't appreciate as much as I felt like I did this year. It was really cool to walk around and try to find all the autumnal colors in the flowers like all the deep yellows and the oranges, all the dark reds and maroons, the browns, things that were like already drying out really really cool one of my favorite things about going with cage is getting to like look at the plants and be like do you like this one do you think this one would work good for your for your crafts um so i have fun and i think he has fun too we found a lot of good stuff that day a lot of interesting corn stalks and flowers that i remember you had found last year and was like oh i really hope i find these again and when we had gotten home we had set them all up to dry in the closet um, except for like some of the sunflowers that we left fresh in a vase um, to brighten up the space but it was really great to just to get to walk around and collect the flowers together it felt like a very magical kind of fairy day and here you can see all our beautiful bunches that we got so i think we got two bunches of sunflowers and then two bunches of wildflowers all of them completely gorgeous and it was just an amazing way to spend the last days of summer together a little sunshine date in the sunflower field and when i did finally get home um, i got to take out this joanna parker mug and trim all the edges of the sunflowers a little better and then arrange them these ones died a lot quicker than the last ones which i thought i did a better job of picking them this year like i thought i picked a lot of ones that weren't really quite bloomed yet so they would last longer but um yeah Something happened. Regardless, they looked amazing, and I like dried sunflowers almost even better than fresh sunflowers. So if you ask me, all set. Hey friends, it is September 1st, officially, officially the start of spooky season. Um, I've had an absolutely fantastic day. Just wanted to pop in really, really quick. So this morning I got up nice and early, had myself like a spooky little coffee with maple almond creamer and it was absolutely amazing. I drove out to the Dollar Tree to look at their Halloween section because I haven't checked it out yet and just had like a super fun, easygoing morning. I was supposed to work today originally, but I ended up switching shifts with a coworker who needed um, today off so I'm working Sunday instead which is a-okay. All week I've been kind of like curating my spooky playlist for this year and I've found so much different music like from like 1920s kind of like ragtime and like super vintagey like crackly record sounding like all that kind of stuff to like very sock hop like 50s like we're at the swing dance like and it's all like jiving and everything to like 70s like kind of like surf Dracula like weird stuff and like modern stuff that like sounds like it's really vintage and modern stuff that doesn't sound like it's vintage just all over the place and I got like my 25 25 ish favorite songs on a little playlist on my laptop that I think Cage will also really enjoy and I'm going to put them into a CD because I find it really helpful when we're driving around to be able to play a CD in my car so that I can charge my phone with my car while I drive. Um, so I want to show you guys the CD I just made really quick. I'll put like a little clip of me decorating it, uh, but this is what it ended up looking like. Super, super cute. Um, lots of vintage little items on there because I wanted it to look like the music that it will be containing. Um, whoop. So. Today, went to the Dollar Tree, did some Halloween shopping, came home, filmed a Halloween haul, decorated this. Um, now I'm gonna go put the blank CD into my computer and get all those songs downloaded onto it. Um, I'll be sure to link something below so you guys can also check out my playlists of spooky Halloween music if you are interested. Let me know what you think if you do check them out. And I'm happy that like the season's playlist is started. Now I can, now I have like my ambiance to like decorate and go on walks and like do all the spooky things too, so ha. Ha! Huh? Very good. Successful day. Happy September 1st. I hope everyone's like spooky season is starting amazingly. I also don't know when this will be out, so I hope it's not like halfway through October when, when I finally publish this. Okay, bye! So here I am with my partner in crime, Tuna, and a blank CD that I got from, I think, Staples like a long time ago. I'm just gonna use the little CD insert as the template for the album artwork, as we shall call it. And I'm just going ahead with a regular glue stick and some pieces of patterned paper, um, just gluing directly onto the CD cover and then adding that to the paper and cutting that shape out so I got a nice little black and white stripey background and then it's really just a matter of going through all my little paper scraps and interesting bits and bobs and cutting out 
different designs and patterns and strips of paper to layer onto it to make a really interesting uh, collage sort of situation. So I'm using like this pastry box that has these adorable little vintage characters for instance. I'm using a Halloween napkin that I got in Edmonton and I'm just like using the top ply of that napkin to get the little cat face design off that and use that as like a little insert going ahead and gluing that to a piece of paper so it's like nice and sturdy. This pastry box was an absolute gem. It had so many cute little characters like this ghosty and the cat. Uh, both of them like having like little trick-or-treat kind of balloon sort of situations. I loved it. And then I'm also using these plastic treat bags and cutting out the designs that I like of those and gluing those onto a white piece of paper so they're easier to see and then almost using those as kind of a sticker and I found this paper candy corn bag from the dollar store that I just adore the pattern on so I'm going ahead and cutting a couple of strips of that to use as accent paper and I'm also going ahead and using this stamp set that I got at Michael's and an orange envelope from the dollar store to create some little stampy designs. Um, I wasn't sure about that color so I'm also going ahead and making some on this slightly more muted orange piece of scrapbook paper and cutting out those designs so like I have a little ghosty stamp and a little skull stamp and stuff like that that I can pick out and use. I'm also going through this sticker book that I found to check if there's anything nice in there and I think I tried a couple of pieces but ended up putting them back because I wasn't sure that they really went with the vibe. I'm just going ahead with a sharpie to write out Halloween 2023 keeping it simple for the title of the playlist this year and then cutting out the text that I like. I'm also using a ballpoint pen to add just like a little spiderweb detail in the bottom of 2023. I think it looks cute. And once I have all of my elements cut out and picked out and etc etc, it's just a matter of arranging them until I find a pleasing design and once I'm happy with it I can use my glue stick to go ahead and glue it all down. It's really simple and it's just a game of trial and error kind of thing. I like to put on a fun video in the background. Uh, alt knots is something that I've been watching a lot lately. Kayla is this amazing crocheter and they have an amazing uh, YouTube channel, just a really good personality and they like a lot of the movies that I like and just have yeah, great li to listen to while I get to watch things. I'm also going ahead and using some dollar store stickers of these candy coins that I think are absolutely precious. Once all the elements are on there that I would like, I can go ahead and slide it into my CD case, take a look, and I'm really happy with the result. I also just uh, used a Sharpie to decorate to the inside a little bit and wrote the track list and decorated with a couple of stickers. Here you can see this year's with last year's uh, spooky mix, and I really like how they look. I I'm excited to have like one for every year. So that's that. Good, good times. I'm very pleased with the playlist and I'll link a couple of different playlists below because um, since this one was so long, I decided to split it up into more like kind of modern, like dancey um, songs and then more like kind of sock hop, like 50s songs and more like just purely vintage and etc. etc. So there will be a couple of categories that you can listen to below of spooky playlists. Hey friends. Okay. So it is September 4th today, which means it is decorating day. That will be its own video, but I wanted to pop in really quick because had kind of a really nice autumn morning. It finally, finally we had the weather because last week, last week I was checking the forecast and it said that it would rain pretty much all during the week and it lied to me and didn't rain once like during the day. It was always just overnight, which one time the thunderstorms were like so loud and so close that I was just like amazing. Um, but otherwise, no rain. And then today I woke up, I opened the curtains and it was foggy and misty and perfect. And it was extra exciting because I had messaged um, two people from Facebook Marketplace to pick up some little goodies. One of them was these Halloween buttons. Dude, I am so excited. It was $5 for everything. And I just want to show them to you really quick because they are just extremely delightful. Real quick, this it came with, which I will probably just give away, but that's fine. First, they all have these really cute like vintagey favorite findings tags with the little pumpkin face. I'm totally gonna save the little tags for like scrapbook kind of purposes. This first one is just these circle Halloween tags. Two little, oh my God, it's so bright, I'm sorry. Two little pumpkins, very cute. A black cat, I love that little face. It's like so angry and sweet. Like just so angry, not really sweet, but that's the point. Uh, little Spidey on a spider web. And these two are the same, but they both say happy Halloween. 
orange and black. Very cute. I'm very excited to do like little more exciting pieces of clothing with these very like vintagey style kind of things. Uh, and these are some haunted houses. So let's look at what those are like. So we've got two of these that are like white and purple with a little ghosty. It says haunted house. Amazing. Adorable. Oh yay. They're all different. How fun. Okay. These ones that are white with an orange ghosty that say boo. Oh, that's really, really cute. And then these ones say trick or treat and they're green and they have a witch flying on a broom. Oh, so cute, dude. I'm very happy about these. Okay. And then this is called witch's spell and it's got little cauldrons. Yes. Little spiders amazing frogs look how cute that frog is oh my god i love that oh my god this witch oh so vintage and sweet and a witch hat and then there's just more spiders and frogs and then these ones are super cool it says halloween accents and they're just these black and orange stars then these ones are sparkly orange pumpkins let me just take one out so i can show you guys so cute and they have buttons on the back. I might use these to replace some of the buttons on one of my Halloween vests I made, but we'll see. And then these ones are harvest tags. These might be a little less spooky, but still. We've got a sunflower. I am so sorry. It's like white on yellow. There you go. <laughs> white on yellow sunflower. Celebrate autumn with a leaf. Very cute. And harvest with a tree. So two of each of those. Very pleased with those. It also came with some turkeys, but I don't really care about them. I will probably pass those on to someone who will appreciate them. So that was really cool. The other thing that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace, which is in the other room, I'm not going to get it right now because it's a giant box, but it's pretty much everyone, like someone's entire collection of Buffy comics and Buffy magazines. I was over the moon and she seemed like a super, super sweet lady, just had a baby, wanted to make some room and wanted to give the comics to someone who would appreciate them. So I got them and I'm super stoked about that. Um, and then that person lived close to the mall. So I stopped into Lush cause they had like their Halloween collection out and I wanted to kind of sample those things. Um, so first I tried their candy corn and Wednesday's child is full of woe lip scrubs. I love lip scrubs, but I never use them and they're like super cheap and easy to make with just like sugar, vanilla, whatever. So I never buy them, uh, but I did sample them and they're both so tasty. The Wednesday one was like in a purple package and the inside is like bright like the lip scrub is like electric blue and it tastes like sour candy it's so good really really enjoyed it it's like kind of sugared plum i think is kind of the idea of it and it's really really good um and then the other one was candy corn and i'm vegan so i've never really had candy corn but it tasted amazing and it made me sad because i can't have candy corn and now i'm like oh what am i missing out on um and then i just like sniffed all the exciting things they had like this really cool soap that like i wish i liked the smell of but i didn't uh, but it's like it's called demon in the dark and it's got like ghosties and skulls and stuff like coming out of this like it's very cool and then they had like glow in the dark soap and a bunch of different things i ended up getting a little sample of toil and trouble um which is good it's very minty so not really for me but it's like a sugar scrub and then i got the monster octopus because i always get the octopus every year and i'm so excited about this maybe i'll look at this last because it's um very messy no screw it let's look at it now I'll just wash my hands really quickly after. Okay, so this year it's pink, which I'm kind of sad about that. It's my favorite scent that it's been so far, but it's my least favorite like color that it's been yet. Uh, but it's like a shower jelly and it's always super fun and weird and novelty. And I always get the, the Halloween one every year. Look how jiggly this guy is. So fun. So he's pink, he's got like a giant eyeball. I feel like he's not showing up great in this light, so I'll probably put like a picture or something. But like, look at him dance. He's such a fun guy. And just, yeah, favorite smell so far. It's like really nice and fruity. And um, what a weird little Pepto-Bismol thing. My hands are gonna smell amazing after this. So let me wash up and I'll be right back. Okay, the other thing I got was the pumpkin sheet mask. This one seems really fun. It's like a ridiculously thick sheet mask that looks like a pumpkin face. So I'm very excited to try that. Then I got two bath bombs. I keep them in plastic bags just so they like retain their freshness. So the first one is called Banshee and it's like electric blue and I got it cause it's supposed to smell like apples. And it does, it smells amazing, really, really cool. And I'm very excited to try it. And then the other one, I don't think this is like exclusively a Halloween thing, but I was very inspired to get it. Cause hello, it's called Black Rose and it's a black rose scented glittery bath bomb. Are you joking me? Oh, it smells really nice, like a jammy, delicious rose. Um, I feel like this would, 
mix amazing with like a little bit of patchouli oil in a bath with like some candles and like oh it'd be like so spooky and oh amazing okay so that is the items that i uh, got today now i'm gonna go make a simmer pot and um, start decorating for halloween so stay tuned for that thank you for tuning into this little segment of the vlog i suppose and um catch you soon all right, so we're getting started to make a simmer pot by putting on my lovely apron that I made last year. Super, super happy with it. I'm grabbing out my mushroom container that has all my candles in it and pulling out a beeswax one that my parents made me. So I get a nice bit of beeswax scent in the background as well. And then getting my cutting board and taking an apple and just chopping it up into some nice slices. I like cutting it like this because you can see the like, star pentagram inside it. And then doing the same with an orange. I'm adding some cinnamon sticks, some clove, um, you could also add star anise and other sort of ginger, nutmeg, any kind of those spices and you can see all of the ingredients in there. Then I'm just adding some boiling hot water to it and setting it on the stove on a low simmer. And you can pretty much keep this on all day as long as you keep adding water to it. It'll just keep going. It'll make the house smell amazing. If you don't like uh, orange, cinnamon, that kind of smell, you can look up different recipes for all different ones like mint, eucalyptus, tea ones, coffee ones. Um, seriously, one of my favorite fall activities is making a simmer pot to get the vibes going while I decorated. Hello friends, it is September 5th as I am filming this today and according to the calendar that means we are doing a spirit Halloween like walk through get to trigger all the animatronics and do that thing which I'm so excited for. Maybe a little bit of Halloween hunt and then later today I have a blood donation appointment so that will be very very good. Just wanted to pop in and like show the spirit Halloween outfit real quick. I might change again but we'll see. At the top we've got little bone hair clips wearing these guys again because I just love them so much. So cute, these like orange lollipop Sam kind of earrings. I can't get enough of this choker this year, this season, so wearing it again. This is like the pumpkin bat wing kind of shaped collar that I made. Um, it's got like a big satin ribbon in the middle and it's kind of cute. Then I just have like a super dainty little bat necklace dangling down there. And then this dress is from the children's place. And it's fun because like the white parts glow in the dark, like the moons and the ghosts and like that kind of thing. Uh, the one downside of it is that it's super short. So I'm also wearing it with some bloomers. And then I got my cute little like purse. So this is the dress, got my super cute lacy bloomers underneath. And then one leg I've layered two ripped pieces of pantyhose and then this leg just has the spider web kind of fabric so very cute extremely halloween and i'm excited to go out also i would be wearing lipstick but i'm gonna like wear a mask so it's not worth it just pretend i'm wearing lipstick in this clip okay um see you soon i'm very excited all right bye for now okay so i freaking love going to spirit halloween with cage and i feel like they just get better and better every year they've been getting more and more like accurate stuff of course the prices are just getting higher and higher which always sucks but it's fun for me to just like walk around and look for inspiration I've been needing a pair of black and orange tights forever. The vintage mask, the mask game in general was off the charts this year, but their vintage masks are absolutely to die for. The like spooky black cat one, Spirit does like such a good job of them. It is completely wild to me. And then their scary masks are like so realistic and scary, like quite pricey, but it totally makes sense because they are spooky as anything. And um, yeah, they just do like a really, really good job. This like scarecrow kind of situation, terrorizing. The corn on the evil cob, oh my lord, like, yeah. I found this goat mask that was just incredible in my opinion, really, really liked it. And they had some really cool canes this year. Remember I got a Beetlejuice cane like a couple years ago, but they had some light up ones this year, which was absolutely wild. Um, and of course the spooky babies, I don't know why, but I find these hilarious. Like they're just like so horrible. They like cycle from around from being like scary to funny a little bit. And they had some really gorgeous tombstones. Um, they're all like really lightweight and fairly affordable in my opinion. I remember when I was a teenager, I would have a lot of tombstones in my bedroom for decor and I haven't had done it in a while but I was definitely tempted again really cute like Sam trick or treat stuff and a bunch of dolls movie accurate stuff Chucky's and Annabelle's and weird little pumpkins and everything there were some really goofy things like this silly looking bat and like cute little ghosty spooky things. Some of them were like Beetlejuice themed. Um, and in general, I feel like they've been expanding their Beetlejuice, their Nightmare Before Christmas, all those collections like every year. Scream, The Exorcist, they just get 
bigger and better every year. They also have these like really fun picture frames that kind of move and I feel like Spirit always makes these really great purses and they're getting a lot of really good ones this year too like these It ones. Um, they had some great killer clowns from Out of Your Space stuff and in general their clown outfits are really really fun in my opinion. Just like really cool clown weapons, really cool killer clowns from Outer Space stuff, movie accurate props, um, very exciting to just see everything. But of course the best part of going to Spirit is to trigger all the animatronics, so I had to go do that. There was like spooky scarecrow man um, that definitely gave me a bit of a scare. There was scary clown person, the skeleton holding like a little corpse thing. Um, more spooky clowns. The clowns are like honestly very terrifying, especially up close. Like they did a really, really good job on making it spooky. Okay, and then the next clip, I think it cut off, but basically after we went Halloween decor hunting, we stopped by the post office because Cage had gotten something for me in the mail and he was like, you should probably open this on camera. And I was like, all right, like I, I guess we will do that. So um, that is what is coming next. Something that apparently I have to open on camera. <laughs> We will find out together what it is. Shut up. Stop. <laughs> A Mr. Skeleton? For me? Where's he gonna live? <laughs> Wherever you can find a spot for him. He's so cool. You are right, he is bigger than me. Yeah. He is so much better than my Mr. Skeleton. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we'll have to put him up. <laughs> Bob us. Hi again. Okay, so it's still September 5th. I got home from the uh, Halloween decor hunting. It was super, super fun. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is that I got the wrong size of bed sheets because we need new sheets. I got some. Wrong size, gotta go return them after this. Regardless, I got a little bit cute and dressed up for my blood donation appointment. I thought it would be, I don't know, is it like inappropriate to go in a bit of a vampire theme? I'm not sure, but regardless, that's what we're doing. So, uh, red hair uh, scrunchy thing, bones. These are just little black bat earrings. Um, same makeup as before. Again, pretend I'm wearing black lipstick. I'm not going to because I'm wearing a mask. Tiny little bat choker. Rosary style necklace that I made with like a little dead bird charm on the bottom. Uh, this top is from the thrift store. I got it recently. It's like velvet and it's got really cool like kind of stripey things down it. And then I'm wearing my handmade skirt uh, with just like a bunch of random band patches and other things on it, and then just some fishnet tights and regular Doc Martens, coffin-shaped bag. I'm excited because the walk there is really nice and has like a bunch of trees and I'm hoping to see them, like to see if they're like changing colors of leaves at all. So that'll be really cool. Wish me luck. We're off to go donate blood and uh, see you soon. Okay, so the walk over there was super, super nice. Just like a ton of like leaves beginning to turn yellow and it was really, like, really special. And I don't know, it was just lovely to have like Cage walk over with me. And it was like kind of close. So we got to get over there pretty quickly and just like look at the falling leaves and like listen to all the birds. And like, that was all really nice. Now, the experience itself, I feel like kind of bad um, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, uh, I definitely threw up during the donation process. I started getting like really woozy halfway through and I was like, hey, like I'm just feeling like a little bit like, I don't know. And then everyone was like five different uh, doctor nurse people like swarmed around me and they like gave me a bucket to puke into and I like felt very much like, oh God, I'm like making a huge scene. Like this is so embarrassing and dramatic, but it was fine. <laughs> um, one lady told me that I had to like wait maybe till I was like a little bit older and bigger. And I was like, I'm 25. Like, <laughs> I don't know how much more I'm gonna grow, but we'll see. Regardless, the donation went good. They managed to get at least one bag, which was really cool, and I got a free snack after. I honestly think what happened was that I was eating some chips beforehand, and they were just, like, so salty um, that it was, like, a little too much for me. So I'm excited to try again and maybe just let them know, like, hey, last time it was um, a bit of a stress. But yeah, regardless, I would highly recommend if you are able to um, go donate blood. It's super, like easy in terms of like the process it itself takes like 10-15 minutes um it like barely hurts you just get to like chill out you get a free snack after and it's like super helpful so I figured that it might be like some a, a good tradition to try um because it's like kind of a spooky thing like blood and everything for Halloween I was like that would be a good thing to add to the bucket list I'm sad to report that I 
my body decided to be like kind of dramatic about it all and I got like kind of sick but I felt totally fine afterwards um and everyone was super nice to me and no one made me feel bad it was just like my own weird self-consciousness um but yeah that was an adventure and uh yeah please donate blood if you can and yeah make sure you eat before like eat a good amount before because I think that that's probably what happened was that like I don't really eat breakfast usually. I tried to that day, but, like, didn't eat that much. And then, like, lunch was, like, kind of just a bowl of pasta, which I thought was a lot, but I guess maybe wasn't enough. So, um, yeah, don't be like me, but do donate blood. All right, bye for now. And I forgot to record an outro, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one. Bye for now.